Hello, this is Maker J1, and here's a little um, flyback transformer driver I made here. Um, so, this is the first time I've ever actually been able to drive a um, um, flyback on 120 volts. So, I'm using these two big beefy transistors that I've used in most of my other flyback transformer videos. Um, these are like basically indestructible. I think they're rated up to like 600 volts. Um, but I've hit them with the high voltage and everything, and they still work just perfectly fine. Um, but the way I have this set up is, this is the circuit here, um, basically. I modified a little bit, um, but this is from Bakeup CPU. He made this in one of his videos. Um, it's, it's what's in a um, CFL bulb, basically. Um, but it's, it's a modified version. So I started out by building just one like he had built. Um... I didn't really see the need for the 10 ohm resistors, but I don't know. Um, and it worked pretty good. I was um, running some light bulbs and stuff with it, like he did. Um, and then I upgraded it to 2N3055s. And I think I might have burned one of them out, but. Um, and I had it running a. This coil here, this 5 gallon bucket coil, or this gallon bucket coil, and it was making a nice wireless transmitter. And I was transmitting power to run Christmas light bulb, or an LED, up to about a foot away, so that was, wasn't bad. Um, and I also tried this coil too, and that worked pretty good too for transmitting. Um, so, so then I decided to try it on higher voltage, because I, was, I, uh, or I, I switched to these, and I knew that these were, see, liked high voltage, so I decided to try hooking up to a capacitor with a bridge rectifier on it and the variac. So, so yeah, here's my little coil right here. Um, so that's this coil right here, my output coil. Or no, that's the um, this coil right here. The output coil is basically the um, flyback transformer. Um, so yeah, so I'll just show you working. And this is probably not a good idea, so don't try this at home. Um, I'm using one handed roll, so let me grab my high voltage here. So I've got this little resistor across here to start it. So let me see. I don't think it's. What do you hear? It's not working. I've got some kind of a problem here. There we go. Alright. So. That resistor has to stay on there, else it won't always work. Yeah, but these transistors, I've shorted them out. I've done all kinds of things to them, and they will not die. Which is good, but <laughs> they're just... I got them from TVs, so... That right there is on 140 volts. Alright, so I get about an inch spark at, um, or arc at about 100, or the, when I have the variac all the way on the 140 volt um, range. So, so yeah, it works pretty good. And it's pretty amazing that this doesn't even get warm. I mean, that, all the power has to go through there to get to the flyback. The flyback's a bit warm. Um, but the transistors stay fairly cool, too. Um, but I also have these, so it go, the power gets rectified into this capacitor here. Um, and then through these, um, this ballast here, which is just some um, printer light bulbs or um, heaters. And then it goes into the transistor circuit and... Um, into the flyback. Um, and this is my capacitor right here, which um, is in the... I only have one capacitor because I found that actually one works better than the two. Um, so I'm not really sure what the rating is on that. It's just from a 
this is from a plasma TV. But yeah, these transistors, I've had these for a while. Um, they are from, they're, they're two identical ones. They're from um, CRT TV, so I don't know. Um, um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching.